Hey everyone, Mac is back. Today we're going to go over the specific bow uh, commanders for, uh, you know, for a, a commander formation and just kind of see which ones to put in there, which ones to leave out. Um, this kind of formation can be used for uh, not just uh, medium spenders or high spenders, but for also for you uh, free to play as well. You can go with a specific uh, bow build, but I'll go. I'm gonna go over the free commanders for such a build um, in a in different videos, just just to kind of break them apart. So this is more for a you know medium to higher spender or even a low spender, I guess, so to speak, too, because you can have a lot some of these commanders that uh, you know from like your recruitment pass or just uh, maybe buying some uh, packs or in certain events and whatnot. So let's get to it. So here we are in the military grounds looking at uh, just our formation, our column of five that you're going to have. And I, you can see I don't have, I'm not a bow uh, enthusiast, so I don't have many of these or any of these really high at all. All I have is Sheila at uh, two stars. So she's going to basically do, um, if I put her, I'm probably going to put her in there just for the army size bonus. Uh, in itself and because she, she's awakened there so as you can see she does bow attack of 30 percent um, she'll also do um, you know if you have her awakened to three stars that'll be increased as well so have more attack there for that uh, when you're looking at Obin, he has the uh, bow attack as well we're just going to keep putting him in there until we find one that we uh, can replace it with so and then we go down a little further and Soren has nothing so we're probably not going to put Soren in there Kravros has bow attack and nothing else, so we'll put him in there. Looking at Theon, he has bow health and bow defense plus total attack. Um, he's awakened as well, so that actually is probably your top commander right now, I would think, uh, to, to put in there. Uh, the poor, poor Robert has 30% bow defense, which in, in a formation like this, they're going to be taking damage, so that's actually not bad, but probably not one you're going to want to put in there. And down further, Sansa has bow health and bow uh, attack, so that's pretty good there too. She's not awakened, so you don't get the army size bonus or buff that you normally would. Looking at Sabrina, she has no, none of them uh, as well. She's going to be awakened soon, um, and I will be um, actually awakened tomorrow after reset. So um, I will be doing a, an additional video on that about Sabrina and her awakening abilities. Um, looking at Egbert. He actually has, let's see if I can get this up here, to, yeah, total defense, and he has bow attack of 50%. So that's actually better than these other commanders. So like she has 30% attack and health. You're keeping that. You're keeping that. Now we go to the other two here. So we're talking um, bow attack for both of these at 30%. This is a endurance recovery. The other ones don't really matter. So if you have either one of these at different, uh, you know, at a higher stars, if you had each one at three stars, then I could see you wanting to uh, keep keep uh, one of these in here. But I'm probably just like, going to take Obin out, put Egbert in, and then I'll get more uh, more stats that way. But I'll lose some of the army size. That's the only drawback that you get there. So I'm going to lose 4,000 army size from that, which I'll take that extra, you know, 30 30 percent attack for that. Just that little downgrade. If you have Melisandre, she has, let's see, your bow attack, bow defense. So that would be something if you had her, that'd be 30-30 there. I'd probably, I would put her in over, if I had her gold, I'd put her in over Kravros so you get the extra defense. Uh, Simon has total attack, attack reduction, um, which would be really good. I think if the attack, the seize attack reduction goes to, uh, you know, well, it's actually not going to be for fighting. So you're not going to want that as well as a total attack of 15%. It's not worth that either. And clearly Cersei, you're going to have her in there if you have her uh, up there as well. So this is kind of what you're looking at um, overall. And the only one here, it looks like, is I think Theon. Because I think we got Egbert through the recruitment pass. And you can still do Theon the same way as well. But um, So you're looking at pretty much Egbert and Theon being the two that aren't... Um, that are paid commanders so um, and you can unlock both of them uh, both of them through I think it was the summer dance is where they had those uh, you know you could roll the dice and be able to get them but if yeah if you have these ones this is kind of the this is where I would be uh, you know using a bow uh, formation here uh, it's, it's one kind of little trick that I've seen people use for with a bow formation is they actually put some infantry in front to kind of slow down they could be they could be tier ones they could be tier two three whatever you want to do it's kind of a little meat shield that slows them down and the bows get off an extra attack or two but you're not really sacrificing too many troops 
uh, boot bow troops for that. So you know you're just gonna sacrificing those uh, those uh, infantry. So if you did want to kind of want to do it that way, you could probably take one of these out and put a front line of like infantry in there. So for instance, you know looking at your probably your weakest commander, which is probably Kravros in this in this respect because he t he does do that 30% attack and that's it. Uh, but he does give extra uh, he does give extra uh, army size. So I probably I actually might take out Sansa. Go to my infantry if I want to use infantry front. You don't have to use infantry. You could use something else too. I wouldn't use cav just because they die too fast. They get up to the, the front line and attack too fast. So I probably like here. I would probably go with uh, I would say lats because lats has the uh, you know infantry health and defense. It's like uh, I want to say she's at like 90 percent. So you're looking at 90 percent attack. Or I'm sorry, uh, health and defense for that front line. So if you did the infantry one, so that would be one that I'd want to put in there. If you went spear. You, Miranda would Miranda would be a good one to put in there. Um, Hector has defense, but she has the defensive health. Garel has defense and some passive health. It's probably all I'm thinking of because if you look at I guess if you look at Jamie, he has well there you go Jamie has health and defense plus some attack. Uh, not that you're worried about the attacks more uh, you know just the health and defense. So I that's that's possible as well. Um, then you have Drake here, who has a t uh, Drake at gold would actually be probably the best because he has his would be at 40% if you wake him to three stars. So I would say you put you probably put him in there. If you don't have him to four stars, or I'm sorry, three stars, then you might want to you, you want to check with your other commanders as well. Like for for my instance here, I don't have many of them in here because I don't focus on that uh, you know that those those commanders per, per se. But I'd probably pop Gorel in there. I would think. Um, you know, Miranda does 30% across the board, but he's doing 48% defense, and plus he has some other ones in there. So that could be a, you know, this would be a decent formation here as well. And then, like I said, I wouldn't go Cav. I just, I just don't find it, uh, find it to be that doing, you know, that well, uh, to, to do that well. So this is kind of what I would do for the, you know, your bows. So just, uh, I hope this uh, kind of helps you out. And my, like I said, my next videos are going to be um, about um, totally free to play when it comes to, but you know, these single formations of. Uh, you know, and then adding in maybe a slight little wrinkle of like maybe a backline commander because um, you're going to want to put most of these commanders in the front line. And that's the big thing because um, you want that defense and that health in the front to be able to last a very long time in the battle. So you're able to do as much damage as possible. So until next time, back out.